as the coronavirus vaccine is being rolled out. Explaining how it works is vital when it comes to winning public trust. That is why these scientists have taken matters into their own hands, using TikTok to answer all sorts of questions relating to the vaccine in order to promote confidence. But it is likely that the vaccine will reduce the amount of virus that's present in the lungs and therefore the amount of virus that's expelled from the lungs. We make these short videos that say, um, this is what people are saying, this is what the actual truth is, um, we want to get the right information across and we want to help people. I get this question a lot. People Dr Paul McKay is a research scientist of 30 years and he's now a bit of a TikTok star. These videos he and his colleagues have been uploading tackling misinformation have already topped more than 20 million views. You need somebody who actually has made a vaccine, someone like myself, to say, no, we didn't put microchips into that, that's false. And that's all we can say, um, that 5G isn't going to control your mind if you get this vaccine. According to the World Health Organization, social media is being used during the pandemic to amplify an infodemic of misinformation around a vaccine as well as coronavirus. So that's why experts are now turning to platforms like TikTok in order to fight back. When he's not teaching, Professor Pallier is creating short videos addressing the concerns about everything vaccine related, but using poetry. Scientists have not rested. Only science can usher that universal sigh of relief. Our students saw a challenge, but they did not flinch. I do think that we are trying to counter people who are trying to invoke fear. And uh, that's not our goal. I understand why some people have fear too, right? Uh, I, that's not the issue. I, I would have fear too in certain circumstances. I just think having information is good for everyone. The online world has become a place of misinformation and the government is trying to find new ways to tackle the problem. But with one video at a time, these scientists are doing their bit to change the narrative. Noel Phillips, Sky News.